Hello everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd show you some stuff I've been working on. Uh, most of that has been on this ship here, but I did whop up a uh, prototype idea for Excalibur's Challenge. Um, medium sized, kind of smallest tank. Um, but then I learned some things. Now right now I'm in Reforged Eden's uh, creative uh, scenario. So I got all the right numbers and everything like that to properly test things in Eden. Um, I realized that making this here, I went too far, unfortunately. Um, I kind of was comparing this a little bit to uh, other medium-sized tank I made, which also would not work at the level restrictions that are on this challenge um, for Reforged Eden. And basically what it comes out to um, is uh, whatever HV that you create, and it was supposed to be, I believe, combat-oriented, uh, that to fit in the level requirements of somewhere between like level 12 and 14, all you're going to be able to do is run one T2 core and two T3 cores, which will give you 21,000 CPU. Um, if you try to put in another core block, uh, those unlock at level, but player level 20 doesn't allow you to work, um, with, uh, the, the challenge guidelines so uh, I believe I blown my attempt here on this one unfortunately I was trying to downsize and be pretty small it's actually even smaller than the only other medium tank I built in the past uh, which also would not work for this challenge either because that one even though if I added the right CPU box would be really almost 10,000 over the limits unfortunately um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, to do a tank or something that would actually work and have enough firepower um, and, of course, no shield for the role of, like, engaging POIs, I just, uh, you're not going to be able to do much, unfortunately. Um, now, on this one here, if I were to remove some turrets and some guns, um... I could probably get this to, uh, here, I'll take out these front Gatling guns here. Let's see, what are we at now? See, now I can pull it a little bit under 21,000 and keep what's there. Uh, now, it's it's fairly agile, but here's, here's a, a problem. I mean, I've got nothing installed in here right now. Um, I mean, nothing. It doesn't have any ammo storage. It doesn't have any utility whatsoever. In fact, it's completely not finished, so... It's going to be kind of rough. I'm going to try to salvage this design or maybe allow it to be upgraded, um, I think would be the best choice. But basically, I was trying to figure out how I can get the most amount of guns on it within the limitations of the challenge. And it's it's just rough. And uh, at the end of the day, the, the, the big problem is, is because none of these are going to be able to have a shield at least stock without upgrading it um it's kind of uh like yes you could take out some pois with something like this i i suppose um if you're careful and stuff but you're going to take a lot of damage and there's going to be no chance of having a shield on it a stock um even the guns i got on here are just minigun turrets and nothing better so they they're not really good for doing damage output necessarily for like POI defenses. I mean, it would work, but I don't know, man. I um, personally, I wouldn't want to use that for for the role or anything at uh, CPU of twenty one thousand for being built to take on POIs. Um, I know this wasn't supposed to be a high end tank, it's just a medium tank, but. Uh, Man, um, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what you guys are going to come up with. Um, I just been trying, I've been trying to figure out something that works and it's just like everything I got to downsize, uh, so much with so little weaponry and no shield and no other features that I honestly won't even bother using it in game. So I, 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 I'm not necessarily happy with the limitations on this challenge especially for what you're trying to build if you're trying to build a cargo ship or something like that that's cool 
but you're trying to build a, a HV to uh, take on POIs with at 21,000 CPU just seems ah uh, doesn't seem doesn't seem like it would be a good plan. <laughs> I don't know if I how else to say that would. Uh, on the uh, on this plasma ship, I have this set up right now for Reforged Eden as well. Um, I've got this within its CPU limits. Uh, it's got a little bit of extra CPU available to it. Uh, big problem I've got with this one is, although it flies quite well in vanilla, in uh, Reforged Eden, it's really sluggish. Um, it's uh, it's got okay strafing, but uh, its turning is very slow. Now, I've added four RCS to this already, and uh, I could probably put in some more. They're relatively cheap and ready for its Eden, so I will try that. But ultimately, what I think it really needs is more thrusters um, in the right locations to give it uh, a good turning, and uh, that's where I've got a huge problem. It's um, I don't really have spaces to add in more thrusters. Um, Ultimately speaking, you want your centers as far, or your, your thrusters as far from the center of gravity as you could put them. So, uh, like on the outer edges of the ship. Unfortunately, one one uh, mistake I've got here is I've got my two like big thrusters over here on the side for strafing located more in the middle of the ship, and that doesn't that does it, it works okay for strafing, but not for turning. Now I've got these in there thinking that that was going to work out as well as these way on the outer edge and these are kind of uh, on the edges as well but that isn't good enough to get the turning I would like to have on the ship. Um, other than that it's ready I mean everything is pretty much done I was going to give it a final look over and tweak and detail and probably add a little decals and things and like like that and I was kind of wanting to get it out to the workshop as a reforged Eden only creation but I just feel it needs to be quicker and I'm gonna have to figure out a way to try to make this faster um, I think it, it, I'm sure it can be done one way or another but I'm just I might have to like ditch things or something or throw in thrusters where I really don't want to put thrusters or something like that to make it work the way I like it to work now something else before I move on and, sh and show you the last ship there was a, I had a comment and they really wanted to know how to transfer color palettes from one creation to another so I want to show you exactly how that's done. Um, so to start with, now this one here has just got some random colors. If you take a look at its current color palette, it's kind of a mess. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal the color palette from this tank over here and then put it onto that one. Now to do this, you grab your uh, color tool or texture in color tool. Uh, you get really close to the creation, so you uh, and then hit configuration, and you want to make sure that you verify the name of the creation you're looking at up here. If you don't see that name, you're not close enough. Um, so what you want to do to copy the color palette is you want to uh, select on the very top left, just by uh, hitting, uh, clicking on it with the mouse, and then you want to hold down the shift key, and then click on the bottom right. Um, you should see that all the boxes in here get highlighted then. At this point in time, hit copy, and then you can just hit OK and get out of this uh, creation over here. So you go to the uh, the new creation you want this color palette on, hit configure again. Now here's here's the catch. Like if I were just to hit paste right now, it's not going to do it right. Um, it's going to be a mess. Um, as you can see, it starts pasting at where this selection box is. So when you paste back on to another creation you have to touch on the upper left hand corner first and make sure this box is highlighted and then hit paste and then it brings in the proper color palette um, so basically it starts pasting it this color palette at wherever this box is so if it was over here and I hit paste it's gonna be a mess um, has to be in the upper left hand corner to do that once you do that bam color palettes in place you're done um, now, on a side note, when you go and you copy a color palette, for instance, like what we did over here, we selected here, we hit copy. If I were to go out to a text editor like WordPad and Windows or something like that and hit paste or control V on the keyboard, uh, it will uh, print out a color code. Now, that color code 
uh, is usable back in the game by transferring colors back to a ship, and you also can uh, put that on a steam post, because it's just text, um, which is really cool because it allows you to uh, put out alternative color sets for uh, creations that you might have on the workshop. Um, very nice uh, option to be able to do. So I'm, I'm just saying on that one, it's it's pretty cool. It's fairly simple. You just got to make sure you're real accurate when you uh, when you copy and paste those colors from one creation to another. But then it should work out fine. All right. Well, onto this ship. Um, this ship is uh, it's really close to done right now. Um, give you a little tour here in a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to mood lighting like I love to do. Uh, just because I uh, I'll show you it and what it looks like in daytime too. Now, uh, talking on specs on the ship, right now we're in Reforged Eden. I have the ship configured for Reforged Eden. I have, uh, there's good news and bad news. Um, the bad news hopefully isn't too bad, but uh, in Reforged Eden, it's not gonna be able to have the four additional extra lift thrusters. It's got four mounted on here right now, which is a lot of lift, and that was tested to be able to handle the weight, at least at 1G gravity, uh, of 24, 320K uh, storage uh, setups. But um, those, those thrusters there caused a problem in which I couldn't get some other features in if they were attached to the ship. Um, now, they do work in vanilla. I'll show you the outside of that in a minute. Now, uh, starting at the bridge, doesn't look much different. I did find uh, homes for uh, four LCDs. I got to, or I'm, I'm sorry, four switches. So I'm going to get LCDs in place for these one way or another. I do have three buried ones already in this area, so that won't be so bad. But I'll probably have a switch over here for exterior lights, uh, for the drone hatch, which is actually right up above here. And then probably uh, thruster power, uh, heavy lift mode, and normal. Um, as you uh, head through the ship, if you go straight back, you get into your farm section, which you have uh, 36 grow plots in two lanes. I need to get some LCDs right here yet. Uh, these turn on the grow lights on each side. I might change this block area a little bit too. I don't like how that lines up. Uh, if you go out the uh, left side, you get into a crew room over here. Um, more or less pretty basic, three beds, bunch of stuff there, a little hangar overlook. And then you got your uh, toilet and shower, and then a uh, the front gravity generator is kind of off to this little room over here. So going out the other way through the farm, there's different ways to get through the ship too. It also has a main elevator. I'm just taking staircases right now. Uh, this gets you out to this little balcony um, on the side of the hangar. Um, out on this side, there's another crew room, another uh, toilet and shower, and a couple more beds and a TV. So you got to gotta have it, you know. Now, actually, these were just some spaces that I really didn't have uh, much anything else to add to. So going down into the hangar, um, over on this side over here, you have uh, your crafting area. Now, this also... Uh, goes to a central hallway which shoots straight up to the bridge or to the uh, the, the front the front area there uh, to get out the front uh, hatch. Um, in here I've got uh, two advanced constructors with two 320k storage uh, units and then a deconstructor. Now this is the Reforged Eden configuration um, which I'm, I'm only going to put out one version of the ship and you would have to uh, add a few parts to make it reforged Eden compatible, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, of course, you have your, your form, full medical area over here, and then all your uh, storage bays, you can see kind of lined up on both sides of the hangar, and then there's another section in the back of the hangar area with another six of these storage units. I do need to get an LCD up on those on both sides yet. So I, uh, I got a few more LCDs to do. Um, but uh, it's mostly mostly ready. Now I did add in a repair console and repair bay. Um, I also have a teleporter um, and I'm going to get another LCD about the teleporter just kind of like it is on the other side with the uh, repair console. Um, so pretty much you have all your reforged Eden function here. CPU wise we're looking at uh, it's under the 2.1 million by, by some. Um, 
about about fifty thousand. Um, but that does not allow you to add those big thrusters. Now it still can be done in Reforged Eden, but you would need to use uh, I believe it's this block here. Yes, these uh, CPU quant uh, extender quantums. Um, a few of these added in with a couple more power generators, and you could add the additional lift thrusters, which would kind of uh, s uh, set this up for being something you can use in a uh, high-gravity environment, and that's uh, the main deal behind it. So other places on the ship here, let me just show you uh, the engineering section here a second. Now in here, right now I've got this also set up for Reforged Eden. Stock, it will have four T4 cores uh, for vanilla, um, located in these locations here. Uh, when you get this ship, uh, when, when you bring it into Reforged Eden, you have to add uh, one more T4 core, which I think I dumped up over here, one T2 core, and two three, uh, T3 cores. So that will get you up to that 2.1 million CPU in Reforged Eden. Now it does have some additional room up here, possibly for quantum cores. Um, and then there's another location you could also add those in if you wanted to uh, add more CPU function to the ship. Now, the last room I didn't show yet was this lower area here, and this just goes out to the front ramp, which I do have on a sensor now, but I'm, um, I'm pretty strict with the sensor. It doesn't open the door until you actually like walk onto the door on the front area a little bit, um, just so it didn't trigger if you walk across here every time. Um, again, LCDs, I got to get some, uh, an LCD on this area as well, just to put up some info about what the storage is behind that. Um, and then over here, there's an ammo controller with 80k ammo in it. Um, so that is more or less the inside of the ship. It's, like I said, sort of some LCDs and sensors I need to put in for uh, controlling the lighting. It is virtually done. Now, in vanilla, whoop, uh, here, let's get out of God mode a second, or get into God mode a second. In vanilla, the only generator you need is this big one um, over here. Um, however, in Reforged Eden, uh, flying this around and testing it, I realized that it needs more generators than that. Um, this wasn't enough. I thought it was until I ran into this weird spiking problem that I would, I would see under certain circumstances that's kind of hard to trigger but it's three direction flying and then like going like straight down and then like reversing to go straight up instantaneously seems to uh, do a uh, power jolt which was hitting the, the power to 155 percent on the ship which is not cool so I, to counter that I had to put back in more thrust or uh, put in some of these additional smaller generators so I actually threw in six of them um, on these two sides here. It's got uh, technically three more slots to add in more generators. But that kind of fixed the problem. Um, to have this operate in heavy lift mode in Reforged Eden with all its function, such as the repair bay and deconstructor and teleporter, which all, all use CPU themselves, um, you would need quantum extenders in the ship to hit the CPU needed for that. Um, as you can see, I'm way too close. Those big thrusters are, I think, uh, 1.1 or 1.2 million. Uh, no, they're, they're a lot. Uh, I better make sure I quote that correctly. Let me just check out one of the uh, these super big thrusters here a second. Okay, they're, they are, yeah, 1,100, uh, I'm sorry, 110,000 CPU a piece. So you can add four of these by adding about two or three of those quantum um, extender cores um, and then uh, about three more power generators uh, gets that operational I think where you're you're okay um, so that it's just an option um, I'm glad that this works in both though I mean that that was the whole goal that when I was making this in the first place vanilla it's easier vanilla stock you don't need the extra generators I do um, Stock, also, I have to leave out this deconstructor simply because it's not allowed in vanilla gameplay. Um, that's Reforged Eden only. So, 
by stock, the ship will have this big generator, will not have these small ones in place. It will not have the deconstructor. And it'll work just fine in vanilla. In vanilla, you can also add the four additional extra large thrusters uh, on the exterior. Let's go take a look at that real quick. Bring up some um, light here a minute. So there are four locations on these uh, big, big thruster pods to add in the big XL thrusters. You can put those in stock with vanilla and have no uh, power problems. Um, and you would have enough CPU uh, as well. So it's, it's not a big deal. It's just Reforge Eden is going to be, uh, it's more strict. It's more, a little more tricky. So that's why you need those extra extender blocks, those quantum ones, which I do not know how hard are to get in the game. Therefore, I would not want to set up the ship to require those um, stock. I mean, that's something you could do after the fact and modify the ship if you happen to have, if you're, uh, well, I'll put it this way, a very big pack rat and want to carry a, a tremendous amount of cargo um, and also uh, operate on uh, high gravity planets. But, you know, you can do it. You just got to add more stuff to it. <laughs> so that that is cool. Um, so it's, it's nearly done. I'm still doing a little bit of tweaking and finding a couple of mis misplaced textures and things like that and trying to look over every area of the ship, trying to make it as pretty as I can. And then a few more LCDs, rig some switches and get in some light sensors and I'm just about done. So I do plan on releasing the ship this Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. Probably Sunday, actually. I think Saturday is kind of busy for me, but, um. It'll be out pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, um, I also want to make a little instruction uh, LCD in here to explain what to do for Reforged Eden to get the ship uh, operational and what, what extra parts you're going to need and where to put them. So there is that. Um, so after I get this and figure out what I'm going to do for Excalibur's Challenge, um, which might be this one, but I, I just I feel that I don't know. I'm not going to be able to add much into it, but I mean, the focus, what I want it to have the most of is guns. It needs to have that firepower to shoot down the enemy turrets as quickly as possible. Problem is, I don't think mini guns are necessarily the answer for that. It would be better served with rocket launchers, in which I could put even less guns on it in that scenario. So maybe I just should try something else and go smaller. But, man, I don't want to go smaller. In fact, you know, the reason in the past why I only built one, which I would consider like a medium tank, and that's this Achilles MT, um, is because I, uh, maybe it's just the way I would play, but I either want no tank at all or uh, a like a T4 tank with a shield with a full weapon loadout. I don't want something in between because the something in between unshielded tank with a few turrets on it don't do very well against POIs. I mean, may, maybe with a better player, but, um, you know, it seems nearly impossible to uh, not get hit when you're doing that kind of thing. And a small tank without a shield is just going to take a lot of damage. And then you have to weigh the consequences of, um, you know, is it worth destroying whatever the, this costs versus trying to take that POI out? It might be. You might also get yourself, you know, if it something gets hit hard and it blows you out of the, uh, the, the, the driver's seat or you get stuck on a rock or a twig or something, um, you just lost your vehicle and your your life more than likely and then you're going to probably find yourself in a death loop trying to get your uh your gear back um which all those things i don't i would like to avoid that's why i'm not really a fan of building this size vehicle designed to go on pois it's uh in my opinion too too small and too too lightweight um even this like if i could uh, you know if i could put my other turrets back on here and put on you know back the mini guns. I didn't even put a harvester on this one. I mean, I'm just trying to save CPU as much as I can. Um, and and you dump in a shield. Okay, this would work. 
Now this one also is built out of combat steel. I was trying to use the best material I could because it's supposed to be a tank. Um, and that's uh, basically it. But I, even combat steel does not have a lot of hit points when you're dealing with uh, POI turrets. And this stuff gets destroyed like one rocket hits you and you probably lose this whole side of your craft. And you can't really dodge the rockets because a lot of times they're like homing. So it's rough. But I personally, in game, I think I'd rather try to save the money and get a, uh, a bigger tank with a shield. Um, as opposed to trying to probably more than likely, at least with me playing, um, destroy a whole lot of these smaller uh, creations that might not be as expensive, but um, still, um, a, lot of, a lot of destruction there. But that, that's where everything is at right now, and uh, sorry about uh, lack of videos again. I've been very busy with some other things, and uh, I've been trying to, trying to get some Imperium done. I also want to get back on Excalibur's server and play a little, little bit more on the uh, Reforged Eden um, uh, co uh, uh, community server. So I haven't had much time to do that either, so I'm going to try to do that a little bit and um, keep on working on these things. If you got any ideas on how to make this faster without completely redesigning the thing, um, that would be helpful too. I, I I don't know exactly what to do with it. I can't like, I thought, well, maybe I could put some more of these thrusters in the back here to give it that, that counterbalance or try to pull these out and move them. But then I've got, that interferes with the rear thrusters then. So it's just like every time there's, there's, something, there's something in the way that's caused me problems on this shape at least to be able to make it fly maneuverable enough um, and which I would like to see other than that it's done I kind of wanted to release it well after a little bit more tweaking but um, until uh, I don't feel it it's responsive enough to to work it's firepower is great and what it's designed to do and how I would use it is first it does have a shield it does have a warp drive it does have 11 of these plasma launchers that all fire like one block in front of the other one. So it gives us kind of like small stream of a continual solid wall of plasma that comes in, which does a lot of damage to uh, a POI uh, structure and turrets. But if I knew the POI, like I knew the core is like down there in the middle somewhere, I probably would not even bother shooting at the turrets and just carve out a hole and go right for the core. Um, just kind of smash it. Um, it's pretty quick. It doesn't take that much to uh, destroy a lot of uh, even combat steel blocks. Um, so, but basically, it's yeah, it's 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 all about taking out uh, POIs and POI defenses. Um, and I got a little bit of CPU, and with some reconfiguration, if I could make this thing faster, I'd be very happy. I. I the, the only thing that kind of bumps me out is in vanilla, it is it is quick. It does work the way it was. Uh, I intended it to fly. Um, it just doesn't, that does not translate to Reforged Eden. And because it's also running 11 of these, which that's not allowed in game rules in vanilla. So I have to have this Reforged Eden, but then it doesn't fly good in Reforged Eden. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah. And it's got, it's even lacking, like, lift thrust is really sluggish on it, too. So that's it's kind of the problem. I just feel like I'm moving in slow motion. Um, and I tell you what, flying the CV over here, the CV is far more responsive than this uh, SV. Again, I think that's kind of unfortunate. I've always kind of found that problem where it seems so much easier to get a great big CV to fly better than it is getting a small little SV to fly. Like, look at this thing. This thing turns good and flies good. It's got power for days, um, even with its 4XL thrusters. So, anyway, uh, that's all I've got for today. I'm going to keep on trudging away at stuff and see what I can come up with uh, for some other things. And I hope that a uh, little color example there helped um, for the person that was asking about how to, how to do that. Anyway, you all have yourself a good day. I will talk to you later.